Elizabeth Castle has been home to hundreds of people over the last 1,500 years, from saints to soldiers. The castle was built over a period of hundreds of years, on top of three areas of rocks found in the bay. With over 1,500 years of history and change to experience, come and learn some of the castle's stories. The guardhouse was built around 1810. A guard stood here, checking everybody entering the castle. He watched people crossing the causeway between the castle and the town, signalling for a boat if they needed help. At first, a drum was used as an alarm, but eventually a bell tower was built, housing a warning bell that would ring to warn soldiers about the incoming tide. This is Fort Charles, which was built in the mid-1640s during the English Civil War. It was named after Prince Charles, the future King Charles II, who had found safety at Elizabeth Castle from his enemies. The fort was built facing inland, as the threat came from people living on the island itself rather than from across the sea. Fort Charles was separated from the castle by a ditch and a bridge until 1668 when a wall was built to give it protection. The hospital, built in the early 1800s, was a truly modern building, bringing huge improvements in medical care to the growing number of troops at the castle, along with their wives and children. Going into the castle, we pass King William's Gate, with his coat of arms carved into the limestone. The castle green held a windmill with a cannon inside, a barracks housing nearly 600 soldiers and a bowling green. After the 1660s, the green was surrounded by a new wall that was built around the whole castle. At least six soldiers were needed to load and fire each of the 15 powerful cannons which were originally lined up here on the Grand Battery in the 18th century. There were more cannons here than anywhere else in the castle. They were aimed over St. Obin's Bay and always ready to fire on any French troops attempting to invade the castle or Jersey. A new magazine to store gunpowder for cannons and muskets was built in the 1700s. It was hidden in the cold and the dark to protect the barrels of powder inside it. There are two sally port doors at the end of the ditch. They were used for the delivery of supplies and soldiers and as moorings for boats travelling to and from Jersey. This is the third gate and was the main gate to the castle, protected by a ditch and a drawbridge. In the 1700s, the parade ground housed a barracks and was also the site of inspections, parades and punishments. 480 British Army soldiers and 12 officers lived in the barracks, which was the island's major military building. There was also a large food store, canteen, a place for washing, a laundry and a bakehouse. Before this area became a parade ground, there was a large church here. The Priory Church was dedicated to St Helier and took up most of the space. Elizabeth Castle Breakwater was intended to be part of a new harbour that was never completed. It did, however, become a way of connecting the castle to the rock where St Helier lived. A hermit called Helibert was the first person to live on these islets completely alone on the smallest area of rocks. For him, it was a place to pray and live simply. He was killed here in 555 by sea raiders and was later made into a saint called Helia. This is the very first door to the new castle, built in 1594. The first governor of Jersey to stay here was Sir Walter Raleigh. It was he who named the castle after his queen, Fort Isabella Bellissima. You can see her coat of arms and the Tudor rose on this carving. This area, known as the Upper Ward, is where people lived beneath the armed Upper Keep. The castle commander lived in the captain's house, and whilst only some of it's left, you can still see the fireplace and the bread oven. The governor's house was the grandest place in the castle, and where the governors of the island stayed, including Sir Walter Raleigh. Later, Prince Charles, who became King Charles II, spent 13 weeks here. This area has changed enormously over 400 years. It was first built in 1594 and held just a few cannons. The last piece of the castle was added in 1942, when the German occupying army built a tower, searchlights and bunkers around the castle. This is a castle which is surrounded by water for 15 hours of each day. Elizabeth Castle has been rebuilt, strengthened and extended and fallen in and out of use. It has both succeeded and failed in its job of defending Jersey.
but stands watch even now.